So let's go into a demo and bring a few parts that we've already done prior. So I've just got a bit of matting and layer. I've just done a wee gatefold card here that you can see. Then if I bring in my tape pen and let's get the center for this one done. Bring this in. So what I've just also done is taken some of the double-sided papers from the poinsettia pad. I say papers, they are a good substantial weight. They're 100 GSM, so they're like a light card. So what I'm going to do is we we'll just pop these on, get this assembled, and then we can show you how the wrap dies work. So let's place that one on like that, and then place that one on like that. So place that on, stick that into place, and here we go. Then what we're going to do is we're taking a strip of cardstock. Now the strip size, it tells you on the back. So everything that you need to know tells you on the back. So for this one here, it gives you all the details at the back. So it's even giving you here in the UK, or if you need any of the sizes for yourself in the US, it tells you there. So we need a strip of card that's 259 millimetres by 43 centimetres. So that's what I've got just here. Taking our Gemini plates, so these go through the Gemini Junior. These will also go through the Gemini Go. So taking my dies here, so let's just place one at one end, and then we will place that at the other end just shortly. Taking some of our low tack tape, then all that we're going to do is just going to place that on, and we're just going to line that up just in the middle, just so, so you can see here, that the actual um, wreath is hitting each edge of the cardstock, and we're just going to tape that down. So we can run that one through. So placing that through. This is one that you can be doing your embossing with if you want, but obviously for time here on Facebook Live, what we're just going to do is we're just going to pause it, and I'm going to bring that through, make sure that's cut. So when that's cut, we're just going to take all these parts out, all these die cut pieces out, then we're going to come to the other side of the cardstock and we're going to place the other die and then once again what we're going to do is pop that through. So as you can see here, if I remove this, let's see, maybe a bit of black card would be better. So if I take this part off here, you can see, let's just take that bit of low tack tape. So all these bits here have die cut out as you can see all the way around and then can you see here right at the edge that stays in place so that actually that doesn't cut out so what we're going to do is let's turn that around and let's bring in our other die like that then once again all that we're going to do is just remove these wee pieces so at the other side of the cardstock we're just going to bring that die and we're just going to tape that down once again we're just going to line that up like that and then tape that down Run that through the Gemini, pop that through, getting all that detail so we can get rid of all these wee bits here. Pop these out, get these out the die, and then that will be us. So as that comes through, once again what we can do is just pop out all these parts, and this is what's going to create the wrap round die, so get rid of them, and peel that off. So what we could do next, as you can see, is you've got these parts here. So just... For time, I am just going to use my scissors. What you could do is just take your ruler and take your craft knife and you can just uh, cut all the way down. But we're just going to use my scissors and I'm just going to cut and line up. And then I'm going to do exactly the same, cut and line up. So that then gives us our band. And then also there's one that I'd done earlier where I also done the embossing. So let's bring all these parts out the way. Let's get just rid of these bits in. And we're just going to pop these together. And then what we can do is we can start to assemble this card and show you how the wrap round die works. So pop that in like this. Then what we've also done is we've die cut just the end of the die, but in a different color. And then all that we've done is we've just chopped that off. So all that that is, is just the very end of the die here and we've just die cut that into another color and just chopped that off so that's all that we've done with that one so what we can do then is bring in these parts here so you can either start to wrap this round now and then stick the parts on 
or you can stick the parts on now. So we can just go for that. So we're just going to take one of them off and we're just going to overlay that. We're going to place that on. I've already got adhesive on the back. Press that in and then bring in this one here. We're going to do exactly the same with this one. We're just going to place that on like that. Line that up. It goes into place. Take the two wee red bows here. So with this one here, it's just going in place. So we're just building the layers up, building that wreath up. And then once again, turning that round, bringing this in. So as you can see now, what I'll do is I'll bring that just a bit closer for you to see. Bring the plates out of the way. So if you can see now how we've then got the wreath that we've actually layered up and changed the colour from it. So bring this in. So what we can do is bring in the cardstock that you've got and you can just wrap it round like that. So you can either pop it into place first and then pop it onto your cardstock or what you can do is just do exactly that. Just wrap that round the die. Then all that we're going to do is we're just going to wrap that round, pull that in and these are then just going to join together like so. So if we just press that bit of adhesion back down like that then there is a wrap round down so there that is there bringing that in and that is how you create the wrap round die so there we go so if I pop that up so you can lift that up or down or then what you can do like I say is just pull that in place and that opens it up smart